Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and I have been playing this game since the original base game was out in early access, like within the first couple of weeks, but don't let that fool you, I am pretty bad at this game. The Spaced Out DLC has had a new release, and I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for me to start a new, a long haul series where we're going to play on the hardest, well not quite the hardest settings possible, there is a whole bunch of stuff that we could turn up and make it even harder. But we're going to play on one of the hardest settings possible. Over here I have noticed the flipped asteroid. Yes indeed, this is an asteroid that has a lava lake on top of the world. We can't escape that way. We need to find other ways of doing so. I'm going to also turn off uh, like metal, metal rich that we had down here. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to go for, but I, I kind of feel like that would make it a little too easy. Should have just left it on the boulders. All right, we'll go, we'll go with that. We will go with that. As I say, we could turn up a few things in there, but no, we're just going to go with standard hard game settings here. Oh, no, a problem with Kerbal germinating this seed. Oh, no. Oh, I mean, we'll, we'll give it another go. There's been a lot of those in Spaced Out, it turns out. Mm. Yeah, I was uh, going through checking different the different worlds to see which one I would want to start with uh, this time and it turns out that quite often I would say about one in four at the moment is having a, uh, a small issue loading. Let's let's try this one. Radioactive crust and volcanic activity on my next one. Uh, this, this sounds fine, right? Okay, we made it through the loading process this time. Oh, barely, barely. And uh, the, the starting choice of duplicates is always a very important choice to be made here. I uh, normally go with a researcher, a builder, and a digger. I think I'm going to go slightly different this time. From the very beginning of the game, I'm going to have someone who is solely in charge of tidying up. Yes, indeed. Oh, a tidy researcher. That could work out very well for me, actually, because we don't research all the time, and maybe the person who was doing the research could end up tidying in their off time. I think we're going to go with that. I'm also going to name most of my people here after famous scientists, of, well, famous uh, physicists of some description or other. Just had to double check that he was a CK Planck. He is indeed. Okay, so there we go. We, we got we got Max, Max Planck there, a very famous... Um, the quantization of all sorts of stuff, you know. Okay, well, who, who are we going to have as our second person? I was going to make him a researcher, but now, you know what? I don't think we need that. Let's go for a builder instead. A builder digger. Oh, farts a lot, though. I'm not after that. Another builder digger. I think I think we'll take this. Oh, and we have got a female. Now, the female, uh, female physicist out there, not as well represented as you would like. Welcome, Mary Curie. I'm sorry about what's going to happen in the future. I don't know, should we get a farmer? I think a farmer might be a good person to back us up here. Uh, I'm not sure if we want to just stack entirely into farming or go for something else. Farmer rancher, perfect. Rock full of brains, that's what we're calling this place. Let's get to it. In, in before the, the world gen breaks again somehow. I, I don't know how. All right, so here we are at the base of the planet. An uh, asteroid has, uh, we have called home, has collided with an anomalous planet, decimating our colony. Rebuilding is of the utmost importance. There's actually, like, law here now? Cool. Awesome. I detect a new cluster of metal-rich planetoids in nearby space. If I can guide the duplicates through the perils of space travel, we could build a colony even bigger and better than before. So we came from a, a colony beforehand. Is that is that what we're being told? Okay. So, looking around. Oh, man, this is not the best stuff. Uh, I've, I've got to be honest with you, I've got a level. We have found the teleporter already, that's pretty good. But the amount of water that we have just lying around here, not great. I think I'm going to make myself a little bit of a water pool down here. That may, maybe means we've got the toilets over this side, but I noticed there is a bunch of granite that unfortunately... Uh, let, let's just start digging, we'll talk about why it's unfortunate in a sec. Uh, you can see it right there. Unfortunately, we do not have a colonist that is capable of digging the, uh, the, the granite there. So we're going to have to try and do something about that. Uh, one of the things I do also want to do is start getting access up and down. Uh, first calls on my agenda. Toilets, water, and somewhere to sleep, maybe. Food. Food. Don't, don't forget food. Plank. Plank. Look, there's we've literally just got going and you have already managed to get yourself into a precarious situation that I can assume you you teleported up to that that's the only thing I can assume there must of okay I mentioned toilets let's go and place down my toilets here one two three and of course we're gonna need three of the actual toilets are these too far away for people I could definitely see this being too far away but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with these for now okay Max my boy let's 
Let's get moved. You're not, you're not able to do stuff? Okay, cool. Uh, I want this to carry on digging up. We're, we're going to start doing some crazy stuff here straight away. I'm going to drop all of this water down into this tank down below. Are we going to dig out all this underneath? I think we might as well. Uh, and that's, that's probably going to be a first day's worth of stuff going strongly. Uh, and in fact, I would, talking of strongly, like to come in with my high priorities straight away. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure nothing will go wrong from that. Uh, I also would like this to be a, a higher priority. We're going to drop all that water almost instantly. But hey, that's what we're here for. Making a little mess. So at the moment, at this point of the game, all of the duplicates are going around with the same level of interest in just about everything. If I click on any of these duplicates here and ask them what their next errands are, could build the ladder, dig, dig the hole. Uh, that's pretty much the same on all of them. But there are different things that duplicates can do. And indeed, I want them to be looking at different things to be doing. Uh, coming up to the priorities here, this is the overarching idea of what the duplicates are going to be doing. I can set priorities by the number on the map, but these priorities are much higher uh, worth, if you will. So, Plank, I want you to be tidy. No, no, I want you to be tidying up, supplying, and storing. These are the jobs that I have assigned for you, Madame Curie. Oh, every everybody, very important, has the highest life support as possible. This is things like uh, cleaning the toilets and making sure that the oxygen is flowing. Very important. Just realised that I didn't give Rutherford his proper name. He was still running around as Hassan. Now, don't get me wrong, Hassan's a beautiful name, but uh, it's. It's not one of the names I'd have pre-selected. Okay, slam down a pitcher pump from the plumbing here. Uh, it's, how, it's how we're going to be getting our water. I don't know what we're going to be using the water for yet, but we will be needing it. I'm almost certain. Almost certain. Okay, it's become a race against time. Tomorrow morning, these duplicates are going to want to wake up and do their business. They have waste products that they have been making during the night, and they need to get rid of them in the morning. Uh, to be fair, they probably want to get rid of them during the evening as well. But because of this, I am in a race to get these toilets built in time. Hopefully, so that messes are not made everywhere. Oh, it's it's horrible when when they all just start peeing everywhere, and uh, you got you've got the germs and the polluted water, and oh. It gets, gets a bit much. Oh, it just happened to leave my mouse at the top here and uh, waiting for fuel. It wants hydrogen. Oh, I do believe we've got the uh, anti-entropy thermo nullifier right here. This guy will keep the uh, surrounding area cold as long as we pump hydrogen in there. Uh, that's not something we can do right now, but it is something we're going to aim towards. Right, let's come out to the star map. This is our local cluster. As you can see, it's quite quite big. It is quite big. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of asteroids around. But I want to click on the one we're on, Reverseline. Okay, that's cool. I want to see what we've got access to here. We've got a minor volcano, a hot polluted oxygen vent. That's very nice, actually. It's going to be a bit of a problem making it cool, but that's uh, oxygen's always good. Carbon dioxide and liquid sulfur. No, um... No water. How how we well we've got we've got a good amount of water to be getting on with, but uh, we we need water for various things like cooking and being clean and oxygen. But before we think of any of that, we really 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 need to get the to Ma Max. No, we really need to get the toilet sorted. It's it's not happened. I'm not happy. Ah, uh, guys, please. First day, first alarm. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we have not managed to get it built before the end of the night. This is uh, disappointing, shall we say. Disappointing. Overnight, the dupe can sleep. It is advisable to get them, like, bed set up and stuff like that. But uh, the, to the toilet really is the most important thing to get going with for the first day. These guys can wake up with a bit of a br uh, with a bit of a sore back. That's fine. I can live with that. Look at that. New hope. We've got a minus 20% to stress just because it's a brand new brand new existence. That That's good because everything else is a bit, bit rubbish. <laughs> Okay, the uh, alarm for the next day has gone and the first toilet is going down. This is of vital importance so we don't start getting a bit of a germ issue here. Uh, will people start cycling through it though? Max, where, where, where are you going? Mr. Plank, if you could not please. Yes, yes, they, they are using it. I'm mostly worried about people dropping mess into our water tank here. That's, that's my big worry. 
bonus points in getting the sinks up and running straight away. Okay, the next thing we need to do is actually set up over here. This is a research station. It can give us access to all sorts of technologies in the future, things that will help us with fooding and oxygen sorted. We have oxalite burning away at the moment. This is a mass magical rock that will just kind of vent out a little bit of oxygen for us all the time. If I press F4 and go to the gas overlay, the blue stuff is good. The, the black stuff is carbon dioxide. That will eventually suffocate us the duplicants need to make sure that they have oxygen to breathe and if the carbon dioxide is there well the oxygen's not there with all this excavation that's been going down, we're getting quite a lot of debris just dropped on the floor. Up over in the overlays here, we can get an idea of the decor around. Green is good, red is bad, and the majority of the bad decor that is coming from this, apart from the millwood of course, is the debris. 37, that's three times as much as the millwood. I think it needs to be dealt with. I'm going to go and click all on the, uh, on the filter here for the bin, so every item can be put in there. Apart from... I'm going to untick the critter egg because they uh, they lose viability when they're inside and also the seed we'll, we'll find something else to do with the seeds and thankfully max uh, uh, my boy a plank here has been set up to go around and uh, value tidying above all other jobs which should hopefully lead to a much happier base than i normally run so we're just having a little bit of uh, liquid resource management underway here. We're going to move all of this water down and into our tank. But whilst out with this view here, I've noticed there's a little line of a, an item over here that I recognise, Neutronium. This is one of our first renewable resources that we have found. I don't know what's behind here yet. I just know that there is a geyser of some description here. But let's watch the water flow. With these uh, storage bins being all built across the way here, there's a nice little button here that lets me copy the settings from one storage bin to the other, and then we've got much more storage just for the same items that I have ha had selected. We're uh, definitely going to have to open up this this tank a little bit more. Going to have to try and find them some better sleeping arrangements. Sleeping in the toilets, I mean, it just it can't be hygienic all in all, right? Okay, this has been opened up just in the nick of time. This this water was starting to flow up. In fact, where uh, where the pitcher pump was, it was right up to the level here. Okay, this is this is good. I am a little bit worried about things like hatches that we're finding down here. This is this is good meat that I can't really deal with. Also, there's a whole bunch of carbon dioxide down here. I didn't realise that. That might be a small issue. I mean, I say I didn't realise that. I put it here, kind of. Okay, that's that's more room for water. That's much better. I've never had someone just dedicated to tidying before. I, th I think I like it. It's uh, definitely giving the place a little bit more air, air of elegance. Man, it's it's been a while since I've been this behind the pace before we've been given a duplicate. Okay, let's have a suit wearing 11. Wow, that is outrageously good. But I don't think we're going to take them. Uh, no, we're not. We could do worse than a, an increased strength. Yeah, let's do it. Niels Bohr did some work with, like, electrons and atom structure. Is it, this isn't a history lesson, what? Okay, we might be a little behind the pace that I wanted to set when we started this. We need to get on with farming. Food is going to be very important very, very quickly. As I'm sure you can imagine, food does, does weigh on the, the strength of the colony quite heavily. But I think we need to set some waters free here before we do that. Before it gets too too seriously clogged up here, we need to let all the water drain down into our... Oh, there it goes, into our water tank down below. Uh, at some point, we're going to have to try and get down there to automate all of this, but this, this works for now. Remember, when you're emptying the tanks, you need to have a le level bottom, else you'll get some water caught in the divots. Good work, Niels. Good work. Okay, I'm having a look around and I'm fairly sure the way they want you to survive the encroaching carbon dioxide is with the algae economy. I'm, I'm willing to play ball there. I think that's something we can do. Research has come in though. The planter box and everything is already moving straight on to getting the grill and the farm tile. The farm tile is really what I'm after. You know, it'd be silly not to uh, plant some crops. Okay, so down here, slam a bunch of algae terraria. Okay, that, that should hopefully keep our carbon dioxide woes at bay. Well, until someone can do some super hard digging, we're going to have a bit of a gas flow bottleneck, but mostly this is going to work fine. We've got carbon dioxide coming in on the bottom tile that's producing the oxygen from the algae and spitting it out, and it's going out to the base, hopefully. 
Okay, that's our final research complete. That kind of means actually, wait, stop. We don't, we don't need, we don't need all these. <laughs> we have had a new, a piece of technology come in already. I was going to put a whole bunch of millwoods down, but you know what? It's not worth it all of a sudden. We have farm tiles, and that's super worth it. Okay, that's the majority of everything upgraded. We don't, we're out, we're out of dirt. Okay, that's that's kind of funny. Something else we got with the farming is the ability to turn the polluted dirt that comes out of the outhouses uh, via the magic of compost back into regular dirt which goes back into the outhouse to become polluted dirt and the cycle continues around. Rutherford earned a skill point. Oh really my friend yes in fact everybody has earned a skill point. Wonderful. Well, Rutherford obviously needs some farming we, we can do that. Plank I believe if we come down here we've got the improved tidying that's beautiful. Boar also is going to have that and Miss Curie I think. You can have digging. Beautiful. That should now mean that we can go through some of the granite. Yes. No more barriers for us. Okay, so after feeding yourself, the next bit of research is a little bit arbitrary as to which one you choose. A lot of people go straight for the sanitation or indeed the next set of research up. I think I'm going to go for the advanced researching so that when I go for the sanitation, I can... I can also get the water sieve. A bit of being able to make lots and lots of polluted water without being able to clean it. It's a bit of a pain. Okay, so how are we doing? We've got oxygen being produced. We've got carbon dioxide being eaten. We're on our way to food being made. This is something that should definitely uh, get rolled out as much as possible. We've got research we can dig. I'm beginning to get all the water together. Oh, mixing this polluted water with it would be a mistake. And we're very close, very, very close to getting to the transporters. Transporters will open up one of these other planetoids around. We don't know which one yet. Okay, end of day seven. We've got a whole bunch of millwood down. People are going around tidying up. We've nearly got a clean and tidy toilet. But more importantly, th this why, why hasn't this been dug out yet? Come on, guys. We're starting to run a little low on food. And you know what? I think I'm going to take the muck route this time. We can't quite support another duplicate yet. But I, I would like to. I'd like to support some more duplicates quite soon. Okay, for these most splendid of cycle eights, I have put the uh, priority up to number nine over here. But of course, th these terrariums need emptying. Plank is on it. The beauty of the global uh, priorities at the top here. Nice. The toilets might be on a bit of a longer, longer list though. Oh, the water is going and with everybody coming along to try and tidy this place up, this might be causing some troubles. Hypothermia might be setting in, but I think mostly it's all handling well. I kind of wish this had been dug out before though. Mm. It's a slow flow, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, with the flood done, I think it's time to mop all of this up, make it available for use. Uh, we're not, not that we're using it for much right now, but I'm, I'm sure at some point we most definitely will. Uh, also, talking of some point, let's, let, let's give them a bedroom, shall we? There it is, the fiery walls to my prison, the thing that's going to escape, uh, stop me escaping straight out to space. We've got some magma above our heads here. Also, having a look around, we don't just have this geyser here, but there's also another one right here. And then one more here. All of which need to be uncovered, or at least got to have a look at. I would really like the bedrooms done today, please. Okay, beds have been achieved. In fact, we've got people sleeping in them now. There is a little bit more work to be done before it can be classed as a bedroom. Rooms are another system in the game. Uh, if you've got rooms actually created, a small box on the map that uh, fulfills certain requirements, like in this case, we've got the toilet, the wash station, and such forth, they get a morale bonus. Morale counts for their stress. You don't like stress duplicates. Stress duplicates do bad things. But there's one more thing I want to do before we can class today as a total success we managed to get the oxygen we've managed to get food we've managed to get somewhere to sleep and our waste products are being dealt with ah <sighs> where does this go when i say we've got food covered we have already got harvests coming in ah oh, this is beautiful 
We've made a few modifications to the back end of our toilet here, mostly putting a second pneumatic door in to uh, aid with the flow of gases here. We're starting to get quite a little, uh, quite a bit of polluted oxygen off gassing from this polluted water. We will have to try and deal with that somehow, but right now we are ready to transmit. We have got a personal teleporter. I've discovered a functioning teleportation device with a pre-programmed destination. It appears to go to another planetoid and I'm fairly certain there's a re return device on the other end. That's good. I could send a duplicate through if I so desired. We're going to see the destination. Here is the destination. Pyaxlene, maybe? Could go with that. More importantly, though, it's got a steam vent. That means there's some water over there. We've got a w polluted water vent as well. That's that, that's very handy, actually. Oil reservoir. There are some nice things we can use to get going. Natural gas geyser. Oh, yes, we could uh, turn that into a power source as well. Though we cannot send power back and forth between the planetoids. If I look at this device here, separate from this device, this de this teleportation device sends duplicates. This one, when we can actually get through and activate it, will send equipment across. Not only will it send... I'm not getting an overlay up. Why are we not getting... Not only will it send... Let, let's, oh, it's because I don't have the, uh, the solid materials back here. It hasn't unlocked the overlay for me. Interesting. Uh, not only will it send solid materials back this way, but you can also do uh, liquids and gases. Those ones I can see. There's the liquids. There's the gases. You can teleport that to the uh, in-between rocks, but there was not power available there. Oh, look at this. This is a problem. Let's, uh, let's clear that out so uh, my boy Rutherford there can leave. The question of who we're going to send across for a first look is, of course, Madame Curie there, because she can dig. She can dig quickly. Uh, that means she can find the other teleporter. We're just going to go in and we're going to have a look. Quick in and out, five minute job. Okay, she has entered the teleporter here. We could inspect it. We get a nice uh, database entry here. We can have a look. There's a lot of lot of reading. If you want to read it, though, you, you go ahead. I happen to know they just talk about how it's probably safe. Oh look, we got a data bank out of it as well. That's uh, that's for science for the future, that is. But uh, we'll talk about that in another episode. Let's hit the teleport button. Uh, nice little animation goes away. The, the, one of the things that Clay really excels in is the animation. Transport has uh, kicked in. We've gone. Oh, there was... Was there a clone there? Did something happen? Oh my gosh. Oh, talking of clone, we, we do have a new friend over this side. We're not going to open this straight away. We are, however, going to try and get our way straight to the teleporter. Anything in the ration box? Ooh, 17 kilos, nice. I'm looking around. I I, I hear some noise. Hear some noise. Okay, who knows what this could be? Could either be the uh, the geyser, or perhaps it is just a, uh, a chlorine vent. I would kind of like to carry on over this way. Let's let's take a small explore. I've got a feel. I like look at the water on the floor here. Look at what could be set up. I'm wondering whether this is a way to yes, cool steam vent. Now it says cool. It's coming out 110 degrees. That's quite warm, but more importantly, it is a lot of free water, which I looks like this is an output. This will be receiving. Where's the input? Because that is what we will be using. Uh, up the top here, we've got some uranium. We did, of course, have... Oh, ooh, there was carbon dioxide or something there. Uh, we did, of course, have the world modifier that puts uh, the radioactive crust there that's a lot of hydrogen as well but this is all to be explored another day i think we're going to send oh y yes we, we know this unless it's going to send me off somewhere else we, we know where it's going beautiful it has kind of stolen the map from me there we go all right beautiful why would it give me such a such a dark screen there uh so now up on this side you can see all the asteroids that are under my control uh we're going to go back uh Curie would be trying to sleep here. Oh, look at the sample jar. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that was a thing. But actually, we're, we're just going to send her back because um, we're not we're not really ready for this. Even though technically this side is much more habitable than the other side. We, we could probably keep a whole bunch of duplicates more comfortable here using the water and the uh, mill wood that's around, the mill lice. Uh, let's transport this player back. Okay, cool. We've even got access to like pinch of peppers and a Dreco over here. There's some, there's some good stuff. There's some good stuff, but that is not for today. No, indeed, we have done everything that we were going to do today. And I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank my patrons, this entire list of names scrolling up the screen right now have all taken time out of their days and money out of their wallets to support me in my endeavors here i would like to say thank you so much for that guys 
Or whether you are a patron, a viewer, a commenter, or a liker, I will see you guys next week for the next episode where we're going to take our first steps on the next asteroid. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.